Hey guys, welcome to my Elkhart Cliffs Slot Canyon video. This is in southern Utah. This is in between Mount Carmel Junction and Kanab. Short little hike, but amazing little hike. So enjoy. So the sun is setting. Um, it's a little slot canyon I'm gonna do. I believe it's about three miles. So my guess is I'm gonna be finishing this thing in the dark. Um, I'm gonna try to hustle. Currently, it's just a off-road trail. It's been super sandy, so grateful that currently it is not sandy. I wanted to show you these mountains. The sun is setting and the mountains are all lit up. It's so pretty. So I'm doing this hike today. Um, I'm actually on my way to do um, the rim to rim hike in the Grand Canyon. So I'll be doing that tomorrow morning. So I thought I'd just do a quick little hike on my way, on my way to it. So it's beautiful. Thought I'd just get a quick view of what these mountains look like as the sun is setting. And it is so pretty. Pin of the valley down below. Really, really pretty. So I'm about a half mile in. Um, I'm currently kind of walking along the, I don't want to say the rim because I'm not necessarily close to the the edge currently, but, but uh, walking up above currently. Um, and I think in the next quarter mile or so, maybe half mile, um, I'll start to drop down into the canyon. And uh, there's supposed to be a really cool slot canyon for me to follow, so I'm excited. All right, so I'm starting to head down. Looks like there's probably still some off-road vehicles that, that probably can manage this. Um, but my assumption is it's probably not too much further. I don't know, to be honest with you. But you can see I'm dropping down into this canyon. And I believe that once I'm down here, um, that's where the, the, slot, the slots will start. So super pretty. Um, again, it's getting dark. So honestly, in my camera, it's showing up as the sand is lighter than it actually is. but. The rocks and the sand are like super red. Super, super red. It's beautiful. Boy, was I wrong. That was really steep. And honestly, you can tell that there's been off-road vehicles going through this area. It's crazy. So, so I am definitely in the the little slot canyon currently. Really cool. Alright. So a little over a mile into the hike. Um, I want to show you something really crazy. You can see that wad of debris up there. Wad is probably the wrong term, but there's a big like chunk of debris that's sitting up there. That means that I mean just you know, just take a take a look how much water had to have been flowing through here to put that debris up that high. That's just crazy. Super cool. showing the crazy rock formations through here. Look at the, I don't know what you would call it, but the angles of the rock. Like look, that goes like different directions. One is leaning to the left and the other one's leaning to the right. That's just, it's crazy. That kind of stuff boggles my mind. Trying to 
think and figure out how the heck that was created. All right, this is the first section that gets a little tricky. Probably have to drop down in there and crawl into this stuff. The younger me would have been jump across, get across, no big deal. Um, I just turned 48 and I still believe I can do all that. Um, but I am out here all by myself, so you know, it's getting dark, so I don't want to do anything stupid. I screw up my chance to hike with my daughter during the Grand Canyon tomorrow, so. Well, I made it down. Now I'm gonna crawl through this. Very cool. Ugh. I apologize for how bright that. I'm gonna touch the screen real quick and still looks super bright, but the sun is set and so the light that is in the sky is making it look super bright in the sky, but um, Anyways, really, really pretty. Definitely out here all by myself. <laughs> See how pretty that sky looks as the sun is set. And the colors in the area that uh, that sky is shining on look unbelievable. I realize I'm a terrible, terrible at uh, judging how long things are going to take me. It's obviously as you go through a slot canyon, it's not not always a quick, a quick thing. So um, I'm 1.3 miles in currently. Um, I believe I'm only halfway. And I know that I have at least, at least another quarter mile of Slot Canyon to go. And and after that, I can hustle out of here, but it is definitely going to be dark um, by the time I get out of here. Uh, everything's been really dry so far, and I'm currently hiking on the outside of the slot. Um, that is just a big water hole right there. And then just check out all the debris and mud that is just up on that one side. I guess and there was some pretty good flash floods through here at some point this this summer. Seems like everywhere I hiked this this summer there was flash floods, so my guess is this place this is probably no exception. Um, it must have been a rager. Really cool to see right now though. Getting darker and darker, so I'm gonna shut this off and hustle. And there's, a, there's been a bunch of big water holes, and it looks like this is gonna drop me down into the canyon, and then I'll be heading out that direction. So, not sure how to do this, but we'll figure it out. All right, so it is currently pretty dang dark. I think this is the last of the Slot Canyon area. We'll see. Uh, we will see. I believe I go through that area 
and I believe it cuts to the right. And I think it comes out. <laughs> I'm hoping that's what happens anyways. Because <laughs> it is starting to get dark and I'm starting to think that maybe this wasn't the smartest idea. We will see. We will see. Well, just got to a location that we need to rappel down. Well, last time I was here, there was a rope. There currently is not a rope. And I really don't want to go back. So I'm going to see if I can hike ahead and find a way down into the canyon. Wish me luck. All right, so it's probably hard to see, but no, that's not too bad. It appears that I can get down into the canyon from here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm pretty sure that from here on out, I'm just going to be down in the wash and then like probably half a mile from here come up and out of the wash on the other side it's not too steep but a little steep and then I'll come up and out of the wash on the other side and then head back to my vehicle so should be good I made it. I am down in the wash. It is definitely dark. And I'm heading out of here. I think I got a little over a mile to go, I believe. All right, I'm to a spot where it's about 10 feet down, but it looks like I can kind of slide along this edge down into there and then be able to get out of there. I'm gonna give it a shot, wish me luck. Well, I made it. It was not super comfortable. Scratched my legs up a little bit, but I'm out. Holy crap. Another one. All right, so I made it through. I'm almost positive I am now into the main part of the canyon. I do not believe there's any more, any more slots. Um, that was pretty spectacular. Um, never thought I'd be going through a slot canyon in the dark. Um, you're seeing probably dust from me kicking up the sand. I apologize. Hold my camera a little higher. Um, anyways, so heading out. I'm glad that the, the camera is giving you guys a, a decent view of this, but it is definitely dark. All right, so I am hiking up and out of the canyon currently. It is um, soft sand, honestly, deep soft sand, which in my eyes is never fun. Um, but I'm heading up and out, so I believe I got probably 0.7 of a mile to go. see how dark it is <laughs> the camera is actually not doing it justice but anyways all right so I am I'm probably I don't know, a little over a tenth of a mile from my car back on the off-road vehicle I guess road um, 
It is pitch black out here. The stars are amazing. I probably will end this video with a, a couple beautiful star star pictures. Um, but I can hear the I can hear the highway where I parked my car. Um, I'm close. I'm sure you can probably hear the highway where I parked my car as that car goes by. So anyways, I made it. Oh, there she is, my car. All right. So I am back to my car, just evaluating my leg. Not a big deal, but that was one of those slots that I was trying to get down. Uh, not a big deal, but I'm back to my car. Happy to be done. You can see how dark it is. Oh, it's super dark. Yeah, happy to be done. That was pretty cool though. Cool experience. Well, I hope you liked this video. A big part of what I do is is just explore, hike, and, and uh, share my journey with you guys. So, again, if you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate you guys. Thank you.